breakthrough. In this video, we are revealing how to make money with the Clubhouse app, and more importantly, how beginners are making $100 to $700 per day. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike Facile. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, which is the fastest and easiest way to make money online. <laughs> Sign up for it in the link below. Okay, so Clubhouse is a huge opportunity because of the fact that it is a new platform. You see a lot of those people on TikTok doing this and just making millions because they were the first mover's advantage and the same opportunity exists with Clubhouse. And this is exactly what all of like my multimillionaire friends that live here in Bali that I've interviewed on my podcast have been talking about in the past couple of weeks. They're like, Clubhouse, Clubhouse, have you been on Clubhouse? Hey man, you gotta get on Clubhouse. We're making so much money in Clubhouse. Which makes like the normal, ordinary person that's just hearing about Clubhouse excited but also confused on how they could actually make money. So in this video, we're gonna go cover that. The first thing that you need to do, of course, is just get invited. You can't make money on a platform if you aren't invited. And the cool thing about this is it's like invite only, which means that's exactly how they're growing by word of mouth. And this FOMO, this fear of missing out is what gets people actually excited and grows, of course, the platform. I can't really help you on that. Like I can't just personally invite you. Every single person that gets invited into Clubhouse app, they only have like a minimal amount of invites that they could actually give out. So you literally need to kind of network your way into the Clubhouse app. The first step is on you. Once you're actually in, now let's actually talk about the money part and this thing could actually, this is like the exact strategy that I used that allowed one of like our businesses last year to pull in 120,000 in commissions and all time if we look at it, it was actually over 345,000 net commissions and that's by jump starting your clubhouse career by really tapping into an existing audience that you don't have to create, okay? So now that you followed the first step, you got invited to clubhouse and now you're like, okay, how can I actually go and make money? The problem with most people is they don't have an existing audience. They don't have a YouTube channel. They don't have anything to actually get somebody to actually go and buy their product. That's perfectly fine because what you can do is actually just leverage on other people's audiences. So when you get invited into Clubhouse, remember you only have like a couple of invites that you could actually give out to people. Depending on when you watch this video, it could be like a considerable smaller amount or it could be even more, right? You can maybe start off with three or maybe in the future you could get like five or 10 different invites. That part is very important because now you gotta decide who are you actually gonna invite that's actually gonna bring people into you know, this platform to actually do the selling or making the money on the Clubhouse app. So for example, this is exactly what I did to grow one of my podcasts, right? As you can see, you know, I literally did not have anyone listen to my podcast before I actually started doing it. Of course, like, when you start a podcast, you're not gonna have existing listeners. So what I ended up doing when I uh, started interviewing people on my podcast, what I ended up doing was I targeted people who already had some type of following, so that way they could promote it to their audience on the fact that they got featured on a podcast. Now it's very similar with the Clubhouse app because of the fact that it, there's, there's no like recordings, like once it's actually on, the conversation's live, and it's done, it's just gone forever, right? So that fear of missing out, that that fear of not wanting to miss out on this chance to be there, it really gets people excited to actually show up and go. So what I would actually do is I would invite the right amount of people that would actually have some type of audience. What I would actually do is just go onto YouTube and just type in whatever niche that you're in. Let's, let's talk about, for example, because I'm here in Bali and everyone's like super spiritual, we could just do the law of attraction niche. So what I would actually do is I would start reaching out to people that have an audience on you know, a separate platform, like for example, YouTube or Instagram or whatever, and I would say, hey, you know, I saw your video, I'm super inspired, we're getting all these other people on a clubhouse chat, would love you for you to be a part of it. And the thing is you use that fear of missing out thing that is existing with the clubhouse to get a lot of higher caliber people to go, come on. That's literally what I did with my podcast, right? And the reason why you wanna do this is because a lot of these people, their followers are probably on clubhouse, right? They've all got invited probably by the grape, Vine, and these people are probably not even invited to Clubhouse at all. So you could even give them value by inviting them, think about your invites as like your way to kind of bribe them to go on your show, and then you get them on like a simple Clubhouse chat. Now the coolest thing about this is when you go straight to the influencers and you invite them, whenever people follow their Clubhouse, the first person that they'll see is literally the person that invited these people into the app. 
Now think about how powerful that is. Instead of you inviting you know, your grandma or your uncle or your aunt, imagine inviting one of these influencers that aren't on the platform yet, that want to be on the platform, and every single time someone follows them as they grow their channel, they see your name literally on the top. That is literally powerful because that's exactly how they're gonna see your profile. So one thing that I would do once I would actually grow you know, a lot of these people, I would probably focus on getting like five people or something or three people just to get started with and then let them know of an event that's actually happening. You know, uh, one of the things that we do here is event-based marketing where we set a date on when something big is gonna happen and we invite everybody there uh, for some type of value slash presentation slash sales. That's literally what I did, like I said, with my podcast. You know, we would start launching them and say, hey guys, there's like this event that's coming up. We're getting all these entrepreneurs together. We're getting all these people in the law of attraction space. We're getting all these people that want to talk about diets or relationship advice. We're going to show up on this clubhouse date. If you're not invited in a clubhouse yet, you got to find a way to get invited. We're having this person, this person, that person, this person. And then what happens is you literally have all these people now at this event that is going to happen. Now this is what's powerful because this is what brings the excitement and the audience to actually come in and uh, come in for a conversation. So once people are on live for the chat, it's pretty simple. You know, you just kind of have a conversation, think about Joe Rogan meets like some type of value uh, presentation for whatever the topic is. And the most important thing for like 30 minutes to an hour, just give value, talk, talk, just maybe do a little Q and A, ask them questions, you know, ask them about their story. Now, what I ended up doing afterwards is I usually then send them to another sale, okay? Now, most people are like, well, I don't have a product, Mike. Well, that's perfectly fine because this method, you don't need an actual product. You know, so for example, this guy right here, this meet the man that makes a million dollars per month, right? I had a conversation with him and it just completely blew up and his product, essentially was something that could be on like a munchai.com and as you can see all these products teach something okay so like in this case it was teaching them how to do digital marketing here there's also teaching people how to do like video marketing or e-commerce or affiliate marketing or whatnot there's all these high level programs that if you actually make a sale they'll give you 50 percent commissions on it you could even see this this one is a wholesale formula so it's teaching people how to sell on amazon and they're going to give you 50 percent of a two thousand four hundred dollar program um and usually after that conversation what you can do is you could invite them to some type of free training or workshop or something and usually someone else will do the selling for me Right, so that's literally what I did with my podcast. He literally did all of the selling, and that's exactly how we were able to go and pull in, you know, quarter million in commissions. But that's just like one aspect that actually works with this. You know, there's people that you know made over twenty thousand pounds with Clubhouse. There's another person that made over fifteen hundred dollars with their mastermind program. You could do something similar if you don't want somebody else to go and sell the program yourself. You could actually build your own business. One of the really basic things is just getting a Calendly link and uh, setting up like a free 30 minute clarification call. You know, that's exactly how these people built their um, money, 20 grand here and then $1,500 from a client. You literally do like traditional sales. You get them from Clubhouse because you invited the people that were influencers. They saw who invited the person and that's actually you and then they go ahead and follow you and then they go buy something from you, right? So the, the first step is of course just setting a simple Calendly link, getting them on and as you can see here, there's like a simple survey right here. That's for people that are into sales. It's good for coaches. It's good for all those other people. The way that I recommend it though is the affiliate marketing approach where you don't create your own product because you don't want to deal with customer service. You don't want to actually make the product yourself. You want to be more hands off. You want to have more of like the passive income stream and not have to deal with like all of the logistical headaches. Uh, that way is this way that I showed you the affiliate marketing route. You know, what you actually need when you do that is a funnel that could actually go and create, you know, the, the sale for you. So this is the software that I like using, for example. Within two seconds, I literally created like a one page website just like this okay and the goal of this is to give something away for free for exchange for their email address you want that contact information because the thing about clubhouse is there's no dms you can't dm anyone right you could link your twitter you could link your instagram but you can't like actively dm someone you need to find a way to get someone off the clubhouse platform and onto your own email list so you could send them offers like what i was talking about you know when we showed this in uh, near a million sales so for example let's go back to the law of attraction niche right or let's go the fitness or the, the the keto niche okay so i'm just gonna type in keto and here are all these people that are micro keto influencers that talk about keto and whatnot 
These are the people that we could start pulling the audience from. Because these people aren't on Clubhouse yet, you could go reach out to them, send them an invite. The moment they get an invite, what happens is every single time they go to Dr. Mike on Clubhouse, it will say, oh, nominated by Mike Vasile or whoever you are, right? That's really big because you can tap into the growing, you know, platform. People are like, well, why would people actually want to like get nominated by me? Because it doesn't matter who people are invited by. People want to get on the Clubhouse platform because it's new, okay? Just think about it. the novelty is what people get like, excited about. So once you're on there, step number one, you need to launch some type of event. You know, you get everyone to say, hey guys, we're gonna get all the top X experts in X field, right? Either the keto field, the law of attraction field, weight loss, business mastermind, whatever you have. You wanna make it an event where there's like three people at least to you know have a little conversation for because you know Clubhouse is very similar to almost like podcasting or to have like a little live debate live, right? And, and that's why it, it's it's super engaging for people that are just coming in. You have a conversation. The next step that you want to do, if you want to go and build an email list, is at the end of it you'd be like, hey guys, thank you for showing up. If you love these videos, make sure you subscribe to the Clubhouse that we created. You know, create a Clubhouse for you know whatever niche or industry that you're in, be it making money online, fitness, weight loss, relationships, and always do a call to action to this. Be like, and if you love this, make sure you get the 10 free cheat sheets or the 10 free step like cheat sheet hack to get a six pack with keto or to find a girlfriend or boyfriend in the next five minutes or less or to get a six pack in six seconds, something like that. Then. What happens when you get their email address because you send them to a specific link on a website that you just created that is off of Clubhouse, now you actually have their email address. So this is why it's actually powerful because now I could just type in and write something simple like say if I wanna sell something, be like, hey guys, I have a mastermind. Insert story here, mastermind link, Mike V. Just like that, I could broadcast an email to hundreds if not thousands of people my actual offer it could either be a product that I create, a coaching service that I created because a lot of people on Clubhouse are coaches, or if you're a complete beginner, you can literally do what I did, go to munchai.com or ClickBank, which are all these affiliate marketing platforms where you could actually sell other people's products. And as you can see, it's doing pretty well for us. You can see in the past seven days, we've pulled in this much in earnings for this one thing, as well as in the past 14 days, you know, it's 6,000 net, but then you also see the other programs that we also promote. Why you can see I love affiliate marketing, I don't have to worry about much things, guys. And like I said, the secret of it is number one, Clubhouse is new, so it has all of this excitement and fear of missing out to want to be a part of it. Two, you gotta tap into existing audiences by leveraging the fact that you know other people have audiences and they're not on Clickbank yet, or they're not on click, they're not on Clubhouse yet. The third thing is you wanna create like a launch date to get all of these people in for a conversation. And then the fourth thing is after the launch of the event, which is usually just a conversation, the fourth thing is actually selling some type of product at the end, guys. But that's really it. That's how to make money with Clubhouse. If you want a faster and easy way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you go and check out the podcast of all these multimillionaires that are extremely crazy, that live here in Bali, that make money online and traveling around the world. And with that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. You.